You truly haven't lived until you've experienced Space Jam on VHS and fear itself at the same time. <laughs> Look at that, I like that. <laughs> until you've experienced flying sex snakes and the day the birds attacked at the same time. <laughs> What an unfortunate day. <laughs> you truly haven't lived until you've experienced a sad hand job and fiery at the same time. <laughs> until you've experienced fucking up Silent Night in front of 300 parents and fisting at the same time. Silent <laughs> Up that's that's how you fuck it up. Exactly. All right. And imagine doing that and getting fisted in front of 300 parents. It's pretty terrible. Yeah. Or unless they're there for like a sex show. Last, or last so, time I let my child into the chorus. Well, this wasn't the first so you know it's, it's entirely possible. Very true. Anyway, until you've experienced the Amish and sweet, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the Amish are, are a bitter, vengeful people. Yeah. The Amish are secretly Batman. They never forget. That's how Batman never dies. You see that show on the spot, yeah. <laughs> okay. Until you've experienced Lumberjack fantasies and Christopher Walken at the same time. Oh, no, Jack. Until you've experienced public ridicule and Hulk Hogan at the same time. He's your support system. <laughs> what you do, brother, when Hulk me, I'm going to kill you. You truly haven't lived until you've experienced a botched circumcision and road ahead at the same time. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! That's a good one. Oh, my God. All right. Lived until you've experienced a magic hippie love cloud and a thermonuclear detonation at the same time. I would have put those. Finding a skeleton and a box at the same time. <laughs> and you truly haven't lived until you've experienced waiting till marriage and date rape. <laughs> Which one will make me go to hell faster? Obviously. But what will make the ride more bearable? What kind of ride? <laughs> Botch circumcision and road. Yes! I knew it. Alright. Next, from J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, and the chamber of filling Sean Hannity with helium and watching him float away. <laughs> Harry Potter in the chamber of a live studio audience. Yeah. Harry Potter in the chamber of several intertwining love stories featuring you, Grant. Harry Potter in the chamber of the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> Harry Potter in the chamber of child abuse. <laughs> Chamber of whatever a McRib is made of. Yeah. Harry Potter in the Chamber of Graphic Violence, Adult Language, and some Sexual Content. So HBO. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter in the Chamber of My Inner Demons. <laughs> Harry Potter in the Chamber of Dead Babies. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter in the Chamber of Jaffa. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter in the chamber of subduing a grizzly bear and making her your wife. Uh, the winner is Harry Potter in the chamber of Jaffa. Boom! Son of a bitch. I spent my whole life working toward sperm whales, only to have it ruined by jerking off to a 10 second real media clip. <laughs> I spent my whole life working toward falling into the toilets, <laughs> only to have it ruined by the land of chocolates. <laughs> Quite ambitious. 
I spent my whole life working towards the violation of our most basic human rights. Only to have it ruined by being fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I spent my whole life working towards one trillion dollars, only to have it ruined by a death ray. I spent my whole life working toward unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks, only to have it ruined by soup that is too hot. <laughs> I spent my whole life working towards not wearing pants, only to have it ruined by Lady Gaga. I spent my whole life working towards the miracle of childbirth, only to have it ruined by fetal alcohol syndrome. Darkest cards. This is great. I spent my whole life working towards powerful flies. Only to have it ruined by the complex geopolitical quagmire that is the Middle East. <laughs> I spent my whole life working toward having shotguns for legs. Only to have it ruined by an honest cop with nothing to lose. He wanted those shotguns for I spent my whole life working toward power. Only to have it ruined by my worthless son. <laughs> That's like the Dr. Evil story. No, that's Star Wars. What are you talking about? <laughs> I spent my whole life working toward when you fart and a little bit comes out, only to have it ruined by running naked through a pissy and shitting everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this was a great round. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a bad card in the box. Yeah, holy <laughs> shit. Um... <laughs> I have to go with the logical one. Childbirth, fetal alcohol syndrome. Darkest card. Darkest card. Who had both of the soup cards? Yeah, me. Yeah. 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 I had the soup. Well played, good well. sir. So, if God didn't want us to enjoy extremely tight pants, he wouldn't have given us incest. What? <laughs> I just had to say it. If God didn't want us to enjoy the token minority, he wouldn't have given us serfdom. That's us. Wow. If God, oh dear, if God didn't want us to enjoy African children, oh, fuck you, he wouldn't oh. have given us a Ugandan warlord. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. That is profoundly <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh, great, now I gotta see this. If God didn't want us to enjoy raping and pillaging, he wouldn't have given us dropping a chandelier on your enemies and riding the rope up. <clears throat> God, I lost my voice, it's terrible. If God didn't want us to enjoy whatever Kwanzaa is supposed to be about, <laughs> he wouldn't have given us taking down Santa with a surface-to-air missile. <laughs> if God didn't want us to enjoy an all-midget production of Shakespeare's Richard III, he wouldn't have given us the tiny calloused hands of the Chinese children that made this card. <laughs> Sound logic. Fair enough. Indeed. If, if God didn't want us to enjoy God, he wouldn't have given us Sarah Palin. <laughs> It's hard to say. If God didn't want us to enjoy going around punching people, he wouldn't have given us taking a man's eyes and balls out and putting his eyes where his balls go and then his balls in the eye holes. Where? Speaks for itself, mostly. If God didn't want us to enjoy 50,000 volts straight to the nipples, he wouldn't have given us nipple blades. Oh, there you go. If God didn't want us to enjoy a Christmas stocking full of coleslaw, he wouldn't have given us mall Santa. If God didn't want us to enjoy catapults, he wouldn't have given us Genghis Khan. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So, because I want to see this play out, who played the Ugandan Warlord card? <laughs> Kwanzaa. I love that. That was beautiful. Mine was that if God wanted us to enjoy what Kwanzaa was about, he would have he wouldn't have given us uh, taking out Santa with a surface to air missile. That was genius. In a pinch, pedophiles can be a suitable uh, suitable substitute for yelling girl power and doing a high kick. In a pinch, racially biased SAT questions can be a suitable substitute for what Jesus would do. <laughs>
In a pinch, Nazis can be a suitable substitute for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing can replace a Nazi. Uh, in a pinch, stuffing a child's face with fun dip until he starts having fun can be a suitable substitute for child beauty packing. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. I like that one a lot. In a pinch, edible underpants can be a suitable substitute for Sunny D. All right. In a pinch, the world of Warcraft can be a suitable substitute for intimacy problems. We all know that's not true. Pinch. Moses startling Jesus' balls while Shiva and Buddha penetrate his divine handholds. I have never seen this card before. Holy shit. That can be a suitable substitute for stormtroopers. In a pinch, grave robbing can be a suitable substitute for survivor's guilt. In a pinch, eating Tom Silk's mustache to gain his powers can be a suitable substitute for the American dream. In a pinch, a lamprey swimming up the toilet and latching onto your tank can be a suitable substitute for Axe Body Spray. It's quite a pinch. Literally, in a pinch. Machete can be a suitable substitute for Gogurt. Oh man, there's some good ones here. Uh, I gotta go with child beauty yeah. pageants and fun dip. Yeah. <laughs> Unimaginable. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're seven, missing eight, me nine, again. Ten. Of course we are. We're always missing you. Every time you're away, we're like, come back. Good. Hammer's rolling. 
Green. No, I did like Samuel Jackson. Yeah. Which is one. I just want to Read it. Technically true. Yes. Well, virtually, yes. 
Every step towards the Hamburglar gets me a little closer to man meat. <laughs> <laughs> Is of Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate hot people in the workplace. They're always so distracting. No one should have to tolerate hope in the workplace. I never do anyway. No one should have to tolerate the Ubermensch in the workplace. The guy's always such a dick riding around. No one should have to tolerate friendly fire in the workplace. No one should have to tolerate Michelle Obama's arms in the workplace. No one should have to tolerate the rapture in the workplace. That shit waits for the weekend. It's not the place I want to go. You think you would have known what like, Oh, the trumpets, couldn't you just wait? No one should have to tolerate the corporations in the workplace. <laughs> No one should have to tolerate Jewish fraternities in the workplace. No one should have to tolerate Tony Morrison's vagina in the workplace. No one should have to tolerate the economy in the workplace. And no one should have to tolerate an ass disaster in the workplace. Corporations. Fuck, I had the rapture. I had friendly fire. Forget everything you know about the mere concept of Applebee's because we've now supercharged it with patty mayonnaise. <laughs> Forget everything you know about historically black colleges because we've now supercharged it with synergistic management solutions. <laughs> Forget everything you know about a lifetime of sadness because we've now supercharged it with grandpa's ashes. <laughs> oh, sorry, grandpa. Forget everything you know about elf cum because we've now supercharged it with sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Forget everything you know about mouth herpes, because we've now supercharged it with yeast. <laughs> Forget everything you know about the entire Mormon Tabernacle Choir, because we've now supercharged it with a sweet spaceship. <laughs> about getting your dick stuck in a Chinese finger trap with another dick because we've now supercharged it with ass to mouth. <laughs> Forget everything you know about Domino's Oreo dessert pizza because we've now supercharged it with a fart. <laughs> with a, with a fart. fart. Childish but effective. <laughs> Forget everything you know about pooping back and forth forever because we've now supercharged it with queefing. <laughs> supercharged indeed. <clears throat> Forget everything you know about frolicking because we've now supercharged it with indescribable loneliness. <laughs> about John Wilkes Booth because we've now supercharged it with a passionate Latino lover. Pooping back and forth and queefing. <laughs> Anderson Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for being a dick to children. <laughs> I do too. Anderson Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for feeding Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah. Anderson Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for Vietnam's flashbacks. <laughs> Anderson Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for a look -see. Anderson Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for filling every orifice with butterscotch pudding. Anderson Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for shutting the fuck up. <laughs> Anderson Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for capturing Newt Gingrich and forcing him to dance in the monkey suits. Anderson 
Ashley Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for eating all of the cookies before the AIDS bake sale. And finally, as part of his daily regimen, Anderson Cooper sets aside 15 minutes for gay aliens. <laughs> <laughs> this is another tough one. Yes, man, this is guy. Being a dick to children. That's me again. <laughs> hey, you tell Mikey's come out of like nowhere. That's right, I killed Kanye West. How you ask? Landmines. <laughs> Very open. That's right, I killed Stalin, how you ask? Beefing over turf. That's right, I killed dead parents, how you ask? And they have 16 assault rifles. I killed the dead people. That's right, I killed special musical guest Cher, how you ask? Immaculate Conception. <laughs> That's right, I feel children on leashes, how you ask? Big up for 10 years of shitty parenting with a PlayStation. That's right, I killed Dick Cheney, how you ask? Giving money and personal information to strangers on the internet. That's right, I killed Count Chocula, how you ask? The Force. That's right, I killed the sad fat dragon with no friends. How you ask? Fucking a corpse back to life. <laughs> That's right, I killed a micro pig wearing a tiny raincoat and booty. How you ask? With insatiable blood. That's right, I killed grandma. How you ask? Double penetration. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Finally, that's right, I killed Lance Armstrong's missing testicle. How you ask? A hopeless amount of spiders. Grandma. Of all of the things to get my first card on, whatever. <laughs> That's right, I killed Grandma. How you ask? Double penetration. And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for unfathomable stupidity. <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for leaving an awkward voicemail. <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for the glass ceiling. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for getting so angry you pop a boner. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for rehab. I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for Judge Judy. I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for the Boy Scouts of America. I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for leprosy. I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for panda sex. I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for a simultaneous nightmare and wet dream starring Sigourney Weaver. I would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for the royal afterbirth. Okay. Uh, I love the idea that, okay, I tried to kill Grandma with, I killed Grandma with double penetration, and I would have gotten away with it too if I wasn't so unfathomably stupid. <laughs> Oh, God damn it, Mikey! Studies show that now lab rats navigate maze is 50% faster after being exposed to tripping balls. <laughs> they also navigate mazes faster after being exposed to piece of shit Christmas cards with no money in them. And also faster after being exposed to the ooze. <laughs> They also navigate mazes faster after being exposed to hormone injections. Fair enough. <clears throat> also after being exposed to a thousand Slim Jims. <laughs> Maybe. After being exposed to Salvia. <laughs> Salvia. After being exposed to the gray nutrient broth that sustains Mitt Romney. After being exposed to fabricating statistics. <laughs> After being exposed to angel-headed hipsters burning for the ancient heavenly connection to the starry dynamo in the machinery of night. All right. Obviously. Barely, yeah. <laughs> and they navigate mazes 50% faster after being exposed to a spastic nerd. I gotta go with the ooze. The ooze is too damn good. Kids with ass cancer may pass. Oh. But doo-doo will last forever. <laughs> <laughs> Whining like a little bitch may pass, but silence will last forever. <laughs> a kiss on the lips may pass, but cuddling will last forever. Aww. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Drinking 10 5 hour energies to get 50 continuous hours of energy may pass, but getting really high will last forever. <laughs> Tom Cruise may pass, but Scientology will last forever. <laughs> There's your winner. Ugh. My genitals may pass, but a micro penis will last forever. Tasteful side boob may pass, but horrifying laser hair removal accidents will last forever. Oversized lollipops may last, may pass. Starting coke off a clown's boner will last forever. <laughs> Object permanence may pass, but being marginalized will last forever. <laughs> An uppercut may pass, but chunks of dead prostitute will last forever. And foreskin may pass, but finding out that Santa isn't real will last forever. I'm gonna go with uh, Tom Cruise type. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For the record, I have the kiss on the lips. Aww. Aww. I had getting really high. That was good. Aww. Aww. Uh, his favorite delicacy is quiche stuffed with yeah. space muffins. His favorite delicacy is a. I don't even want to know where this one goes. His, his favorite delicacy is a bleached asshole stuffed with Batman. What's <laughs> <laughs> that there? <laughs> So his favorite delicacy is Santa's heavy sack stuffed with Pure Moods Volume 1. <laughs> uh, his favorite delicacy is a falcon with a box on its head stuffed with the heart of a child. Uh, his favorite delicacy is 8 ounces of sweet Mexican black tar heroin stuffed with blood farts. And finally, Vladimir Putin's favorite delicacy is Bosnian chicken farmers stuffed with the devil himself. <laughs> um, I gotta go with the bleach asshole and BAM MAN! Yes! Yes. I had dick fingers stuffed with Viagra. <laughs> <laughs>